Okay, I think we're rolling. Top secret, top secret. Shh. Hey, guys. Hi, what's up? Go ahead. Well, this is what's up. So my name is Lulu, and this is my dad, Ez. Hey, I'm Ez. And we have a super duper, super duper, super secret. We've been keeping this quiet for a year now. A year. Okay, so have you heard of the Jim Henson production movie Dark Crystal? The Dark Crystal is from 1982, a fantasy adventure film with puppets, special effects. It was hailed as an incredible film when it came out way back when I was a kid. But now... Okay, so they're making a new series on Netflix. And get this, my dad knows the director, and he said, hey, come to London, and we'll give you some super exclusive set tour, stuff like that, amazing stuff. So we went there last summer. We couldn't tell anyone until now. We're telling you today that this is it. You ready? So here's the clip footage in three, two, one, four, yeah. Okay, stand by and three, two, one, action. So what'd you think of that clip? Woo! Amazing, right? So here's the story. Last summer, we were invited out by the director named Louis Le Terrier. I went to film school with him back at NYU in New York City in the early 1990s. And Louis said, come out to the set. And Louis has had a career in Hollywood that has allowed him to direct movies like The Incredible Hulk, Transporter, Brothers Grimsby, all sorts of superhero movies. So we went to London. Flew on a beautiful aeroplane, landed in London, had a chance to see some really cool sights all around the town. Like Buckingham Palace. That was like so cool. The Queen lives there. Come on. But let's get to this important part. So what happened was, after a few days of touring around the city of London, we jumped onto a train. And we took the train about 30 minutes or an hour outside of the city. And we got to a big movie studio. Huge. Like literally it was like... Massive. This is a building where they used to build frying pans and they turned it into a movie studio so that they could film movies like this. We were invited in, full access tour of full the set. Full access. He even let me help hold the camera, like, on my shoulder. A professional movie camera on a professional kid. Louis then let us see all the different creatures that they had created for the Dark Crystal. We saw puppets, we saw puppeteers, we saw little... Puppet creators. Creators. They weren't so little. We saw... What else did we see? Okay, so there's a funny thing. So one of the big monsters, like on the... What side is it? Skeksis? The Skeksis side. They had to put stuff in its fingers because the fingers are so big, like, they can't, like, they actually can't put their hand in it. So they, they had to put, like, metal thingies, and we saw them building the metal thingies. And he explained to us all about it. It was so cool. We got to meet puppeteers who had worked on early Jim Henson movies. They would even worked on Sesame Street. We got to talk with them. We got to meet Lisa Henson, which, if you don't know, Jim Henson... This guy's creator, his daughter, we got to meet her. Lisa was super nice. We got to sit with her in her office together with Louis, and we talked all about their careers, about the Jim Henson production of um, Dark Crystal that's going to be released this week. And uh, basically sitting with them, we got a chance to talk to Hollywood movie producer and director all about what they're up to. Yeah, it's like... Wow. Even we got to eat food there. We had an incredible lunch, a catered lunch. It was great. Great. Great, great, great. <laughs> Dirt flew everywhere out of these big, huge cannons. And then his face, because he was filming, got all dirty because he wasn't wearing a mask. And then he came, and then he was like, and it was like, uh-oh. So... Do you also know there was two filmers, Louis and Eric. And Eric filmed another huge movie. Paddington. This guy is Paddy. Ding, ding, ding. We've been fans of Paddington for a long time in this house. 
and Eric was the director of photography on the Paddington movies. Eric Wilson. Here is something really cool. So in one scene, they had to get snot all over the puppets. So they had to use this sort of like slime, but not stretchy, like water mixed with glue consistency, custard dish. And then they took squeezy bottles and went It was so much fun to watch. It was like water wars, but not water wars. Slime, custard wars. Custard wars! The crew was super nice to us. We got to talk to them about their careers. We got to ask them about what it was like to work on that set. They had already done many months. When we were there, it was probably episode 10, uh, the last episode of the series that they were filming. It was because I could tell because like, dirt explosions, snort everywhere. It was probably episode 10. They usually save that stuff for episode 10 in series. Anyhow, everyone was really kind to us. We had a fantastic day and uh, I think it's pretty much a memory that I know I won't forget. Lulu, what do you think? I will never forget it. <laughs> so we're really grateful to... The crew and everybody. All the puppeteers and to director Louis Leterrier, to Lisa Henson, and everyone who welcomed us onto the set of The Dark Crystal. We would recommend that you guys see it. We haven't seen the series yet because it's just coming out now. But check it out. And thanks for watching today. And also, we were really inspired. So uh, we got a couple of little friends here, and we're going to say goodbye alongside them. There we go. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye.